Good day everybody, Venator01 here with a commentary on Operation Flashpoint Red River. I've been playing this for the last few days, and it's, yeah, it's quite a bit of fun. I had a lot of fun on the firefight mission that we did. We uh, kind of put it as a training ground for Ozzy and Atari, because they got the game the day after we got it, uh, Constantius and I had got it. So we just, you know, put him in the ear and we had a bit of go, this is the firefight mission we did first. Just bringing in a JDAM here and I thought that'd be a good visual for everybody to have a look at. It's pretty bloody cool. Actually the first time I dropped one in, I dropped it about 300 metres away from us and kind of scared the shit out of everybody because I didn't tell anybody I was doing it. And I saw it there, I thought, oh fucking JDAM yeah mate, I'm doing that one. Doing that. <laughs> so I dropped that right in 300 metres close and Scared the shit out of everybody. I'm using the M14 here at the moment. I've been using the Scout, the sniper class in the game. The other guys have been going Assault and Grenadier and Support Gunner, so I brought in the, the Sniper. I do like the game. It has a couple of things I'm not too keen on. There was one incident we had where... Oh, Constantius just got fucked up by a mortar right next to me, and that was that blood you saw spurt onto my screen. <laughs> Pretty much landed right on top of him. But yeah, there's one aspect that I don't really like. It was... Constantius was, uh, accidentally, I guess you could say, team <laughs> at, uh, killing the friendlies. And he en ended up getting kicked from the session that we started, and after that he couldn't rejoin the session. It said that uh, he'd been previously kicked from the session, so he couldn't rejoin that session. Now, I can understand that if you're in a public match and, you know, you're playing with a bunch of randoms, but if you're playing with people on your friends list, I think that's a truly unnecessary function they've put into the game, where it should recognise that, you're, you know, that's your friend that you've got there, and it's not just some random person you've joined or a random session you've joined, that it's actually an Xbox Live party or a PS3 party or whatever it is. But that was kind of annoying for us. We had to actually back out of the game entirely and start a new session with a new host to get him back in again. A couple of things I do think they need to improve is the the amount of weapons. I mean, it's pretty limited. You do have an M4, M16, M14. You got a saw, uh, MP5, and an M9, M39 sniper rifle. Now, you do get to customise your weapons a bit. You get to put a suppressor on, or marksman scope, or red dot. It has a point system as well, where each time you finish a level, you get a certain amount of points, depending on how well you do. You get a gold, silver, or bronze. You get three, two, or one points, depending on what you do. And they go to your soldier's skill set, uh, battlefield awareness, Accuracy with weapons, weapon handling, those sorts of things, mate. It just it improves your your overall ability of your soldier to react to certain situations. Like the sniper gets improved uh, awareness of uh, targets, like he can call them out at greater distances and that. Uh, you get a fast heal ability with some of the uh, one of the classes, and also uh, increased explosive damage with the grenadier. So that they have put a lot of thought into it over the previous instalment, which was uh, Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising, which, if you had played, wasn't the best game to play. There is a tether in this as well, but it is a lot more broader than it was in Dragon Rising. It doesn't really lend itself to vehicle play. I mean, you can get into a Humvee, but there will be no uh, chopper missions or anything. You don't get into any choppers. Right here now I'm calling in some air strikes. The air support is limited at points, depending on what mission you're in. Some of the missions are quite fun. The, I think it was the third last and second last missions weren't too great through the campaign. They were very slow. Overall I did find the experience enjoyable. It was a lot of fun to play these missions. Uh, this one here is part of the last mission that we did. As you can see, that's quite a large explosion. A lot of fun calling this in. Only the fire team leader can do it. But if you're in the party, you can, you know, switch it up who is fire team leader, mission to mission. 
which is a big improvement over Dragon Rising, where it was pretty much fire team leader had everything and you know, the best weapon, the best scope. When it comes to graphics, they have improved dramatically over what Dragon Rising was. There are still a few issues with the uh, AI players. They glitch around sometimes, like you have them lined up through the scope and the next second they'll kind of slide and glitch across a distance. As for the level designs, I'd have to say it's uh, probably 8, 7, 8 out of 10 on that. Some of the missions you're doing a lot of running between point to point. And at the start of the missions, they really do take you out of the action a lot. You'll be sitting in a Humvee for a good, you know, three or four minutes driving along, maybe you know, two, three minutes driving along, with the your sergeant just, you know, spouting out a whole bunch of crap that it was it was really just the most inane dribble that they could imagine. It took you kind of out of the action a bit. Uh, you were pumped to get to the next part and then you kind of just sitting there in the sum V driving along and him just talking so that was a that was a kind of a disappointment I, when I first got the game and we just played that firefight and it was that was a lot of fun mate you know just wave after wave of enemy I think we got up to wave five one and then we extracted from there and got out as you can see here you can heal yourself up it takes a bit of time sometimes but as I said before you get certain specializations with each kit that you unlock up level for level that can improve your healing speeds or your repair times on your vehicles which you only really get a Humvee but I do like the game I, it kind of sounds like I'm bagging on it a bit but there are things that could be improved but I don't think will be it's kind of just the way Flashpoint is with the AI and the way it renders out, they just seem to skip along sometimes. Later on in the missions, the enemies become quite hard to drop. And I think Atari ended up unlocking armor-piercing rounds, which would probably drop an enemy a lot quicker than the standard rounds you're using. Now, I know a lot of uh, military people have had a look at this game, and they've said it's, you know, pretty crap and shit, but you just want to have a bit of fun, mate, and... Get into the firefight missions would be a lot of fun. Well, they are a lot of fun, actually. But if you're looking for, you know, a hardcore, you know, combat simulator or anything like that, you're, you're going to be a little disappointed in this. It's not that, you know. It is just a, a bit of fun to have. And the main draw card for me was the four-player co-op. Because if Medal of Honor had four-player co-op, it would have been really good. If Battlefield Bad Company 2 had a four-player co-op, it would have been brilliant, you know? Uh, regardless of how you feel about single-player campaigns or anything, having a having a laugh with your mates and having to run around with your mates on the game is... It just increases, you know, the fun, the enjoyment factor of the game. Yeah, I've got a thermal side on this M39 here now, and it can be a, a bit of a beast, that thing. You can pick them off at quite a bit of distance. They can't really hide from it, even if they smoke up and that. You can see them through the smoke with the thermal. There are a couple of weapons I was kind of disappointed I didn't get. I was hoping for a 50 cal sniper rifle at one point, but you don't end up getting anything like that. You do get the M107 sniper rifle, but you only find that in mission. Don't actually have it in your kit selection. There are a lot of things that could have improved, mate, but, you know, for what it is, I, I quite enjoy it. It's a vast improvement over Dragon Rising, and if they bring out DLC for it, I'll probably get it. I'm going to keep the game, I'm not going to take it back. It would be one that, you know, you pull out and have a go of once in a while. You know, pull out and have a go of, there you go, there's a joke right there. It's, it's just, you know... Pretty much just waves of enemies on some of the maps, mate. Like the first, uh, second footage that I showed you there, that was bloody intense, that mission. That was a lot of fun, that mission. Didn't want to put too much into ruin it for anybody, you know. Like, there's more to this part here, this mission we were doing. I didn't want to put that in, though, because that was quite intense, that part. I think the audio might have gone a little out of sync there, but I'm sorry about that. Probably not really paying attention by now anyway, are you? It's because I fucking drone on. 
But yeah, mate. For gameplay, I would give this a 7. There are moments where it does kind of feel like you're just running from point to point. And the lack of vehicle combat, where you can actually get in one and have a go, is kind of disappointing. Graphically, I'd give it about a 7, 8 as well. Probably an 8. It's vast improvement over Dragon Rising. For playability, I'd give it probably an 8 as well. Yeah, 7.5 maybe on that one, because there are moments where the enemy sliding around. It can be very frustrating when you got them lined up, and the next second they jumped across. And as I said, moments where you're just taken out of the action by long intro scenes in choppers or in Humvees, or your sergeant just going off in your ear like he is right now, if you can hear that in the background. So if you're looking for a game to play with four mates, co-op, in firefights, and in campaign just to fill the void of battlefield you know give it a bit of a break for a while or whatever you want to do i recommend picking this one up and having a look won't blow your socks off mate but it's a lot of fun and don't worry there won't be a whole stream of red river videos coming out this will probably be my only one i might do something later on but i have no intention of making a full series of red river videos I might put a little montage up or something at one point but there you go, there's my take on Red River. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch us again next time.